Hey, this is James, Good Vibration Motorsports, and today I'm going to show you how to leak down a barrel valve. Alright, so step one is uh, we need to set the butterfly air gap. So, uh, using a feeler gauge, I set mine about seven thousandths, pretty normal for blown alcohol. A lot of guys will start about ten thousandths, but uh, we've got our combination at seven. So, put the feeler gauge in the butterfly there and uh, get it to where you're, you're comfortable and uh, where it's happy. Like I said, mine's seven thousandths. If I wanted to increase it to ten thousandths, uh, just back off the jam screw here, adjust uh, the thumb screw, and you can either open or close it to get it wherever you need it. The step two is uh, we're gonna cap off our return lines here. So as you can see, I've already put some flare caps on all of our return lines, but you wanna make sure you've capped off any return lines. Uh, some of you may only have one. I have three. We make sure anything around the barrel valve is capped off. All we want is the inlet and outlet going to your nozzles to kind of give us an idea of where the leak down is going to be. Uh, step three is uh, you're going to need a leak down tester. We sell them at Good Vibration Motorsports. Uh, you can get a uh, leak down tester with one gauge or with two. I prefer one with one. As long as you have 100 pounds of air pressure, one gauge will be just fine. Uh, so to hook up your leak down tester to a source of air and uh, you want to make sure you set this about zero. So right now, I'm about 10, I'll bring it in to zero. So I'm at 100 pounds of air, we can go ahead and uh, move on to step four. All right, so step four, uh, you wanna hook up a, uh, a hose from your leak down tester to the inlet of your barrel valve. Uh, we sell quick disconnect fittings, which makes it very nice and easy to do. Uh, if not, you can just use a regular fitting. Uh, so I'll disconnect our main feed going in. Set that aside. Plug that in. Nice part about our quick disconnect is that they're dry couplers, so you won't lose any fuel uh, or make a mess while doing this. So we got our leak down tester set up here. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. And uh, so as you can see right now, we're about 75%. That's pretty happy for our combination. A lot of guys will start off between 70 and 80%. Uh, to get it where they need to. If for some reason we want to get this back to 70%, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Take a, a 3 8 wrench and a, a 5 16 The hex bar is going to be 5 16 and 3 8 is going to be the jam nuts top and bottom. One is a right hand and one is a left hand. So you're going to want to loosen those up to address the turnbuckle. Do that now. I've got mine zip tied together just so uh, it makes it easy to I don't lose them at any point. So we'll go ahead, loosen up the jam nut. Loose and loosen up the top one. Now they're both loose. And take a look at our leak down guess. Right now we're about 72. You can see if I adjust this. I get it back up to 75, and I can get it back down to uh, 70. It doesn't take much, you know, a half a turn on here makes a lot, like one hex on here makes a lot of a difference here. So you can see from one hex, quite a bit. So that's how you get it back, so uh, you, know, you can get your system started fresh and uh, get it going again. So to give you an idea, what are you doing when I say set the leak down and how does that affect things? Um, so the metering piston is sitting like this and you can see there's a little notch in there for fuel to get by. And you can see there's also a notch on the Enderly um, spool here where this is usually up in about the 12 o'clock position. And basically when we're turning the linkage we're adjusting how much fuel is getting by um, at idle. And uh, once you get to about 30 percent here of throttle this is basically saying you're giving it basically fuel, full fuel flow at that point. So we want to make sure for idle that we get this set correctly. If it's too low, you know, only 30% on alcohol, it might not fire up or it might be getting really, really hot. We want to make sure it's, it's cooling it down, get enough fuel at idle. So it's very crucial to set the leak down properly and uh, it's pretty simple to do, but uh, you can mess up your system if done incorrectly. So that's it.